Hello and welcome. I am Sachin Brahmi with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll see how to use Switch Utility to make test calls through ISDN lines in Avaya Proactive Contact. As you can see, I have three windows open. I have two SSH sessions to the dialer and one IP soft phone logged in. The IP soft phone will act as the phone to which I will make the test call. I've logged on as an admin user and in the config folder, I'm looking at the outbound ports in the dgswitch.cfg file. For this demonstration, I'll be placing the test call on an outbound trunk. Depending on the requirement, you may choose a headset or a transfer trunk also. In the dgswitch.cfg file, the ones in the ISDN protocol field are indicating that these lines are ISDN lines. We begin with connecting to the digital switch using the switch command. Now the first command that you would run after logging in would be show OK TXERR. What this does is it will show you only the messages related to the commands that you run on a live system where there are jobs running and agents working on calls. It is imperative that you run this command before connecting to the switch. The next command would be to connect to the digital switch in its switch one colon two zero five zero. Switch one here is the host name and 2050 is the port on which we connect using the switch utility. Now from the dgswitch.cfg file, I will have to choose one port to make the call on. Let us choose port two for which the decimal port address is 276. So I will use this port to make the outbound call. I've also done a P state space percentage the decimal port address so that I can see the port status currently and I can see that the port is idle so I can place a call on this port now. Now before placing the call let me do show port space percentage the decimal port address so that I am able to see whatever events come on that particular port. The next step now would be to place the call on this port. And the command to place the call is I call and the syntax is I call space percentage the decimal port address, percentage the outpulse rule. You can use outpulse rule 13 to 17, that is for the ISDN lines, then a space one and space the phone number that you want to dial. In our case, the phone number is 21001. Once I press enter, you will see the call coming on my IP soft phone. I'll answer that. Here is the call, I'll answer that. You'll see the connect event and also that it detected it as a live voice. Now to hang the line, I'll run hang space percentage the decimal port address and the line will get released now. And if you also want to send a CLI, you would use the same command and add a zero space the CLI number along with it. So in this case, the CLI number is 11111 and you can see on the IP soft phone, you have received the call from that number. So just to summarize the steps that we did, after logging into the switch utility, the first command that you should run is show OK TX ERR. And this is especially if you are connecting to a live system. Then you connect to the digital switch using the command init switch one colon two zero five zero. Then for displaying the activity on a particular port, you use the command show space port space the port address. If you are using the decimal port address from the dgswitch.cfg, you have to use a percentage symbol or you convert it into the hexadecimal address of the port using a scientific calculator and then the command would be show port space the port address you would remove the percentage symbol then then to place the call you use the command i call paste percentage decimal port address or even the hexadecimal port address without the percentage then space percentage outpost rule in our example we used number 13 space 1 and space the phone number. If you want to send an any, you use space zero space any number. Then to hang up the call, you use hang space percentage the port address. Another important information regarding the outpulse rules to be used in your iCall command, depending on the ISDN protocol that you see from the dgswitch.cfg file, you would determine which outpulse rule to be used. In our example, we used outpulse rule number 13 because the ISDN protocol was one. Had it been two, you could have used outpulse rule number 26 to 30. And that concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, 
you may write to us at mentor at or at on Twitter. Thank you for choosing Avaya.